Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the to President Qais Saeed of Tunisia, marking his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Tunisian President Qais Saeed, marking his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a similar cable to the Tunisian Prime Minister Hisham Al Mashishi. The commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, met with General Jaweed Bawa, the commander of the Pakistani Army, at his office at the General of the Armed Forces in Rawalbindi. The Pakistani Army commander welcomed His Highness and thanked him for accepting his invitation to attend the Pakistan celebrations. For his part, His Highness, the commander of the National Guard, praised aspects of cooperation and exchange of experiences between the two sides, stressing the continuation of efforts towards strengthening bilateral relations in the interests of the two brotherly countries. They also discussed a number of issues of mutual interest and ways to develop the level of military cooperation and coordination between the National Guard and the Pakistani Army in all fields in addition to regional and international issues of common concern. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and the Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the competitions of His Highness's Endurance Championship, which was held over the past three days and organized by the Royal Equestrian Federation and Endurance Races, concluded today at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. His Highness followed the main race that was held for a distance of 120 kilometers. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that endurance sport in the Kingdom of Bahrain is proceeding according to the vision and approach of development and continuing to advance until many of these goals have been achieved. Thanks to the interest and keenness of the stable, strong participation and has become a milestone in representing the Kingdom externally. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa explained that the strong competition witnessed in the championship confirms the high capabilities of the stables and riders and their eagerness to provide the best levels, indicating that he is keen to support them by doubling the awards and rewards which contributed to highlighting the race in a distinctive way in terms of competition and speeds. His Highness congratulated the winners and wished the stables every success in the upcoming championships. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa also praised the success achieved in the 120 kilometer race and the strong competition which will be a great motivation towers continuing to achieve the goals in the upcoming championships. Praising at the same time the efforts of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and all committees and organizers and their keenness to exert efforts to bring the racing to a success. His Highness or deputized the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, in the presence of the President of the Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to crown the winners of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the endurance race for a distance of 120 kilometers, while rider Isa Al Anizi from the victorious stable came in second place and Sultan Al Rumehi from from the Al Zaim stables came in third place. The winners of the private stables race were also crowned. Rider Hamad Al Khatri from Al Rawai stables came first. Sheikh Sagar bin Khalid Al Khalifa from Ahmed Al Fatah stables and third places was Abdullah Al Naimi and Al Mughayrat stables.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and the Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday led the horse riders in His Highness's Children's Family 20 kilometer race along with Her Highness Sheikh Shayma bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa at the Bahrain Endurance Village. His Highness Sheikh Nasser ensured that the race, which was widely attended by young horse horsemen and their families, was held to reinforce their expertise and to promote the sport among them in light of the keen interest and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed that such events are a cause for optimism and they reflect a bright future for the youth. And the, at the conclusion of the race, the participants were honored. اسمه الشيخ ناصر بلا شك فرحة لا توصف الأنجال المستقبل إن شاء الله يعني ما في شك يعني تعرفنا قبل أنا كنت ابن هالمجتمع وصلت إلى مرحلة صرت أخو هذا المجتمع الحين أعتقد أنا في مرحلة أحس مسؤولية أني أخو وأبلي هذا المجتمع فالدور اللي أنا أحس أني أنا أب لهم بقوم بما أستطيع عليه من قدرة أني أنمي طاقاتهم وندعمهم باللي نقدر عليه وفي نفس الوقت نربي هذا المجتمع نربيهم على حسن التعاون وروح الفريق الواحد والمنافسة والتعب في نفس الوقت لأنه ما في شيء بالساهل فهذا مثال بسيط اليوم أن احنا نشجع الأبناء اللي موجودين اليوم معانا في اللي هو يسمونها الفاميلي ولا الشندرنز رايت أنا فضلت أني أكون ويا عيالي ركبت وياهم اليوم العشرين كيلو وعطيناهم بعض العادات وتقاليد سباقات القدرة لازم نذوقهم شوي السطل الماء ولكن ما شاء الله عليهم ما ينخاف عليهم يعني أبطال الحقيقة طول العمر يكون لهم شرف الله يسلمك للناصر بن حمد أبوهم الله يسلمك آه شو شلون ناصر بن حمد يشوف قيادة العيال والأنجال في سباقات القدرة مهم مهم ان احنا نبتدي من الاساسات، يعني لازم احد فينا دائما يفكر في الاساسات في المبادئ وتعليم الاصغار واستثمار الوقت فيهم يسوى في المستقبل، فما في شك ان احنا يعني نمشي على خطى سيدي جلاله الملك الله يطول عمره في تربيته لنا، فاحنا تعلمنا منه دروس نطبق جزء منه على عيالنا. 
طول العمر تسمح لنا بس ناخذ راي الشيخ هشيمه في هالركوب اليوم يعني ما كان وايد صعب بس تعبت شويه وكان وايد حار بس اي كان وايد حلو يسوى ولا لا يسوى اي نعم انا سالت الوالد سؤال قبل 20 سنه قلت له كنت تحب تكون فارس وحين اكرر السؤال ليش طويله العمر يعني اي نعم The first vice president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and to the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the historic achievement of the Bahrain team boxer Danis Latipouf and his qualification for a weight over 91 kilograms competition in the Olympic Games boxing competition which is scheduled to be held from July 23rd till August 8th in the Japanese capital Tokyo. His Highness expressed his great pride in this achievement which comes as a result of the support enjoyed by the sports sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain and uh, His Majesty the King. His Highness appreciated the distinguished efforts and directives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to continue towards the advancement of sports in Bahrain through the development plans and strategies. His Highness expressed his great pride in this achievement which comes as a result of the support enjoyed by the sports sector and athletes in the Kingdom of Bahrain from His Majesty the King. May God protect him as Bahrain was able to take pioneering steps in the sector and whose affiliates have succeeded in achieving many honorable results which are strengthened the prestigious position of the Kingdom in the world in terms of sports. The, His Highness continued to say that the vision for the sport of Bahrain's boxing in 2018 resulted in achieving the goal and dream and qualify for the boxing competitions in the Tokyo Olympics. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the efforts made by the Bahrain Council for Combat Games headed by His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa to implement the goals of the vision wishing boxer Dana Satipov every success in the Tokyo Olympics boxing competitions. <coughs> Within the framework of cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom to address the phenomenon of climate change, Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and Chief Executive Officer of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana, delivered the opening speech in the virtual workshop organized by the Embassy of the United Kingdom to Bahrain in cooperation with the University of Plymouth in the United Kingdom on adaptation to the effects of climate change and sea levels rise in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Dr. bin Dana praised the good efforts made by the United Kingdom's Ambassador to the Kingdom, Rudy Drummond, to enhance cooperation between the two friendly countries in various fields, especially the environment and climate change. He also praised the cooperation with the British University of Plymouth for the organization of this workshop, stressing the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to build a long-term cooperative partnership with local and international organizations that support the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. The workshop included many themes in which a group of experts in environmental, regulatory and economic affairs participated, where the workshop discussed the topic of adaptation to sea level rise, the role of seaweeds, mangroves and coral reefs in mitigating the effects of climate change and the role of environmental engineering in achieving sustainable development in addition to the use of modern techniques in coastal monitoring and data collection related to the physical impacts of climate change. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 386,426 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 227,520 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 6,585 with 623 recoveries and 642 registered new cases. 211 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 419 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The Ministry also announced the deaths of two male citizens aged 72 and 70 from COVID-19 and expresses its condolences to the families of the deceased. It urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.